The show's ready to start. Let's go. Okay. Kids love pretend play, and the fairy tale theater provides just the right props to create and engage in their very own pretend world. Launch your story from a familiar fairy tale like Little Red Riding Hood, or become an original author and tell a tale about being a princess locked in her room, or an ogre that messes up the kitchen and leaves a note on a magic apple. And using these beautifully illustrated story panels that are magnetic, so we can change it up and provide a setting. Ogre when he's growing the apple. Kids thoughtfully outfitted their ogre, princess, pirate, frog queen, and fox and added accessories from several categories, sparking imaginations to take the story in and out of fairy tales, using a magic mirror, sword, fire, apple, and dragon. She eats the apple and falls into a deep sleep. She needs to put on her sleeping face. Hey, look, I found a map. So it says we go this way. The breadth of costumes, props, and expressive faces encourages flexibility and ingenuity in play, building language and reading skills. Kids practice dialogue, solving problems, negotiating plots, and planning action. Follow me into this cave. But it says beware. I know, but there's tons of pretty flowers over there. Okay, I'm coming. Ha ha. Take your story to new heights by combining other interchangeable build and imagine sets, creating a town with a marine center, house, theater, and beach cafe. We had such fun with Build and Imagine's fairy tale theater, physically constructing our story and then building it with words. Let's encourage our little storytellers to expand and develop rich language so they can become the best communicators. Okay, here you go. Thank, Thank you. you.